Are you an incoming student who's wondering, what's it like to be a student at McGill University? My university experience was full of twists and turns, from several changes of majors, minors, and even a faculty transfer. Looking back at it all, I've learned that I'm a person who enjoys reflecting on the past and planning for the future. As a recent graduate, I'll reflect on some of the things I wish I knew at McGill University. I wish I reached out to McGill advisors and took advantage of opportunities to meet people early on. I know that adapting to major life changes such as starting university can be difficult. I remember being extremely stressed about my career path and worst of all, I kept it all to myself. I would encourage my past self to reach out to people often to express what I felt. And so I wish I knew about McGill's Discord and subreddit community much earlier. I acknowledge this is a continually difficult task, especially for fields where GPA matters a lot for graduate or professional schools. I think the best way to have mediated this, in a way, was to find other projects and hobbies that I valued and appreciated, so that I'm essentially not putting all eggs in one basket. In terms of academics, I wish that I devoted a couple of hours before the term started to understand how things work at McGill. For example, in terms of grading, Know that each course is graded using percentages, which translates to a letter grade between A and F using grade boundaries. All of this corresponds to grades on a 4.0 scale, which is a thing that shows up on your transcript. In terms of studying, it wasn't until my third year when I learned about evidence-based study techniques that worked for me. Some of these techniques include active recall and spaced repetition. I'll be making a whole separate video on how I studied for my classes, so please check that out if you would like. Relating to the last point about studying, I believe that the key to performing well in STEM courses at McGill is to really understand why things work. I also see the benefit of asking why in other situations too. For example, asking this question allows me to go back to the basic reason of why I decided to be involved in a project to begin with. It allows me to stay motivated and persevere through the inevitable challenges that I face. So what did I learn from all of this? The biggest takeaway of my four years was learning how to proactively deal with challenges head on. I wish I incorporated this logic earlier. If I can't see myself taking action on something now that I want to do, it's probably a sign that whatever I'm thinking of doing is not feasible for the long term. There you have it, five things I wish I knew at McGill University. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed it, consider liking and subscribing to support this channel.